this tri-square was part of a recent estate sale haul. I'm always attracted to these because they are made with my three favorite materials, steel, brass, and wood. The first thing I did was check for squareness. I cut a piece of scrap wood on the table saw to make one edge dead straight. I used a mechanical pencil with fine lead to trace a line. Then I flipped the tri-square over and made sure I was on the line at the edge. And then I traced another line. See how the two lines diverged? This meant the angle between the brass face and the steel blade was not exactly 90 degrees. I used a file to trim a small amount of metal off of the blade. I tried to apply greater pressure at the corner. As I was filing, I continually checked the edge to make sure I didn't create any low spots. I traced a new line to check for square. Got it. I also checked the inside edge of the blade. It was really good. No adjustment required. I decided to use my homemade Scotch-Brite wheels to clean up the tri-square. I got this idea from 805 Road King. I sharpened the end of an exhaust pipe adapter and used it to cut out discs from Scotch-Brite pads. Making my own discs allows me to try different brands and grades of abrasive pads. I used the cutoff wheel mandrel along with a small washer. I eyeballed the center of the disc and poked a hole with an awl. Finding exact center isn't critical. The disc will quickly wear in true during use. I supported the steel blade with a piece of wood in order to keep from bending it while I was working on it. I used a razor blade scraper to get off the worst of the rust. I found that this coarse Scotch-Brite did a good job removing the rest of the rust. I think I got this stuff at Home Depot. Then I switched to a finer grade disc to give the blade a better shine. I also use this disc on the brass parts. I went over the wood stock with fine and then super fine steel wool. The wood and brass were looking so good, I decided to break out the flits and see how shiny I could get the steel. Of course, I had to flitz the brass also. Finally, I gave the whole thing a few coats of paste wax. Let me take you back to what I started with.
Look how pretty this tri-square is now. I wasn't able to find a maker's mark, but it seems to be a high quality piece. The steel blade has some deep pitting, but it doesn't detract from its functionality. The decorative brass escutcheon around the rivets really makes this tri-square look classy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I really dig the wall of tools John Fix displays at the beginning of his tool restoration videos. He inspired me to hang up my own project wall. Every item on the wall was a 357 Magdad project video. I opted for the pegboard system so I can easily rearrange and add items in the future.